Yo, what's goody everybody? We made a little bit of money today. I think about 900 and something dollars like that. Um, I want to show you my trade recap for today. On SPY, beautiful setup. We used an inverse fair value gap with a pullback to a regular full uh, fair value gap. EMAs looked good. We swept out these very important highs and then boom, that's what happens when you sweep out highs. You're going to see a big move. And we caught it from the very top. Like if you look where our position was, we saw, what was it? I'm pretty sure we saw this sweep of the highs right here. Boom, called that whole downside move. Now, look, we were able to catch that when we even had a choppy-ass day. Look, look how bad price is moving today. Look at this. This is just up, down, up, down. All I do is win. You know what I mean? Like, this shit's turkey, bro. You can't fucking trade this shit. This shit's ass and titties. Um, But guess what? We caught the 10 o'clock move, the 10 o'clock reversal, because we're him. So... What did I look for? If you can see, let's go to the one hour. As soon as market opens, let's go in replay mode, actually. So as soon as market opens, I'm going to actually delete this. As soon as market opens, this is what it looks like. Dick. This is what? 9 a.m. So we're looking, all right, we're bullish right now. Like, it looks like we could be bullish. But also, what you want to realize is look at what we're taking out. Look at these highs. So let me actually put this right here. Boom. I'm actually going to put it like this. Bam. So look, we have this liquidity sweep right here. I'll mark this out as a liquidity sweep. Bam. We're sweeping out these highs on the four hour as a, or on the uh, the one hour we were sweeping them. So let's go in replay mode. Let's go to five minutes. Oh, I don't know why I did that. but And you know we wait until the 9.45 to 10 o'clock. So look, we have this high right here. That was that one hour high, if you remember. Boom. Remember this one hour high that we were sweeping right, literally right here? Bam, that one hour high is this pre-market high right here. So what I'm looking at is when we're approaching this high, are we breaking above it with bullish momentum or are we slowing down price action right here? Boom, what does it look like? It looks like, okay, we're slowing down, but we're slowly breaking out. And also it's what? It's 10.05, so I'm getting ready to look at my trade. I'm just waiting, I'm waiting. We're on the five minute right here. You know we're taking out the high. Remember, we're sweeping this high. This is the five minute time frame time frame so i'm looking at here i'm like okay we just took out this high we swept this high we were taking out these highs basically what that is is like bro that's five minute highs getting taken out 15 minute wham highs getting taken out also still sweeping these four hour highs and these one hour highs right also what are we respecting over here we have a fair value gap that we're respecting. We're filling the whole gap, also sweeping this whole entire high right here. See how we have a high? Boom. We sweep liquidity. We collect these orders to push into the opposite direction. So right here, I'm looking at, okay, I know we're taking out these hourly highs. I know there's more highs over here. So I'm like, okay, let me see an inverse fair value gap after taking out all these, bro. It's like, what, 10, 20 now. I'm kind of just waiting for a huge break of structure. Like this was a break of structure right here. I'm not gonna lie, it was. We swept, boom, broke structure, retest, but it wanted to go higher. Now, why did I wait? You might ask me that because of QQQ and because of Apple was being very like, being very strong to the upside. So I don't wanna switch it because it'll go out of replay mode. But the only reason I didn't take it at this moment because that's when Apple was shooting up. I don't wanna take a downside move on SPY, on SPY if the other relative strength stocks or ETF are making an opposite move or, or not creating relative strength. Does that make sense? So that means if we see QQQ breaking highs and going past the highs, and then we see SPY slowing down, you know what I mean? That's not relative strength. I don't really like that. QQQ will scare me, will make me hesitate because they're not showing relative strength. So relative strength is something that I really like to see. I like to see QQQ. I like to see SPY, Apple, all correlate. That means running in the same direction. That's when I'm looking. And if I see Apple have a huge dump, then I'm like, okay, I'm in spy. Cause I know spy is going to follow in that. And that's exactly what led me to take this trade. And I'll show you that. So we're taking out these highs at 10 AM. Now I'm like, okay, I really want to see shorts right here. I, we already are up. We're already making a move up. I want to see shorts. Boom. So this is around the place where I enter. I entered at 1033. So right over here. So look what we're doing right now. Right now, we have these highs, which are what? Hourly highs, I'm pretty sure. Yes, right here, hourly highs. And that's on the one minute. So this high right here is that 10 o'clock hourly high that closed. Because you know the first hourly candle closes at 10 a.m. 
So this high right here is an hourly high. Boom. We come above this new hourly high. Bam. What happens? We have a bullish fair value gap right here. Now, literally, let me go back to the bar and go right here. Okay, so when you're looking at this and you see another bullish fair value gap, what are you reacting and what are you expecting it to do? Come into it and then continue to bounce up, right? Telling you that buyers are strong right here and there's a lot of buy orders to fill right here to push into the opposite direction. So what we're looking for, if we want to go to the downside after knowing we're sweeping huge, like prominent highs, also we're in that what? That one hour fair value gap. Remember, we were in the one hour fair value gap. I'll literally show you again. Wham, right down here. Look at this, fair value, fair value, respecting. So when I'm on the one minute, I'm sitting here like, okay, if I want to see a downside move, I got to see an inversion. I got to see a break of structure. And like TJR says, I also agree with him a ton. Bro, use these inverses as a break of structure. So if this candle closes below this bullish fair value gap, that's telling me that there's no more buyers in this area, that sellers are stronger, and that we disrespected a bullish confluence, telling us we want to go in the opposite direction. So let's see. Look, boom. We're waiting. You know we're sweeping liquidity. Okay, we're coming into the fair value gap. Let's see if we respect it. Boom, close below it. That means we inverse this. That means that there's stronger sellers right here instead of buyers. So now what are we going to wait for? This candle to close. Boom. Okay. What does that mean? Now, what did we create? We created a bullish fair value gap and this is an imbalanced price area. Look, we still have this price area that has gotten filled from sellers. That means there's more sellers in this area. That means that there's a huge amount of sellers in this area where this box is in this fair value gap. Also in this inverse fair value gap, you know, sellers are stronger. So now we're putting our regular fair value gap and we want to see how this gets filled. Let's also look at the EMAs. EMAs look like they're tightening up. We want to see a closure below. And always, 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 I'm not just seeing a fair value gap, enter right away. I'm always waiting for a decent reaction. I want to see good price action. I want to, so I want to see good volume out of these confluences. So when I'm like, okay, let's see how this closes. All right, let's see a good candle closure. Bam, that's like a good candle closure, good reaction out of it, whatever. We enter off of that. Well, personally, me, I entered at 1033 on the dot. So... I think it was like this candle right here, literally right here. When the EMAs were tightening, no, it's two more candles actually. The EMAs were tightening, look, one, two. I entered at the, yeah, this candle right here, this next candle. As soon as that closed, boom, okay. So this is the candle that I entered on right here, 1033. And the reason I entered on this, okay. So you know we swept liquidity up here, boom. We inversed this bearish or bullish fair value gap. Then we created a bearish one telling us that sellers were stronger right here. Okay. Now I'm seeing this get respected. Bam. That gets respected. Also, what do we do again? We create another bullish imbalance. What happens? Bam. Disrespected two inverses in one, like in, in three candles, four candles. Did this bullet bearish fair value gap get disrespected? No, this respected this. And then also what did we do? Did we create another imbalance? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Yep, we did. Literally, look at this. And then we inversed this bullish one. I know it may be hard to learn. Just please try to pay attention. Inverse that bullish one. I see a wick down. Bam. I entered right off of that. And then I'm pretty sure it tanked. Literally. And then first take profit, boom, right at them lows. And then bam, 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 fucking absolutely dropped. How did this drop? And I caught that whole entire move. I'm serious. If you were in the live discord, you saw it. How did I catch that all the way from up here? From seeing all of those bearish imbalances get respected and the bullish imbalances known as fair value gaps get disrespected. That I like to call that a inverse fair value gap. Everyone's starting to use it. It works super well. It's a very good risk to reward, good A plus probable setup. And also, bam, bro, this is why I took it. So fuck the one minute time frame. You can only look at the one minute when the one hour and the four hour are telling you what we want to do. Fuck the four hour even. Boom. Look at the daily. The daily had a bullish or I'm sorry. I keep fucking. I was looking at the up candles. A bearish fair value gap. Also sweeping out daily highs. Also four hour fair value gap. Wham. Also one hour fair value gap was getting respected right there. So right there, I'm looking at, and let me go back again, but like I'm seeing right here, yo, 
we're sweeping out a ton of highs. I'm going to the one minute. Look at this again. I'm going to delete this. Like, look at this, bro. Bullish fair value gap, thinking that we're going to go off of that. Wham, we disrespect it. Pull back. You could have entered right here, bro. 100%. I didn't enter right there. You could have entered up there with like a fucking stop loss like this. Just in case it wanted to like what? Sometimes price wants to be weird. Maybe it wants to come up a couple more times. Boom, then go. And it's still a good risk to reward setup because your stop loss is at and or above highs. So if it does end up breaking up, what does that mean? Your bias is wrong. You caught the wrong trend. Boom, make sure you learn and do better. These setups are insane and you're able to catch these huge fucking moves. Like if you put in five contracts up there, not trying to involve money in it, but like, dude, you're going to cash fucking bread, dog. It's actually insane. This was a long trade recap. I, I'm, I hope that I explained it pretty well for you guys. Also, I called out this IWM, but I did not enter it at the very beginning. So it was at literally the 945 mark, exactly when I like to trade. 945 to 1015. So price opens. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Okay, it's accumulating right here. Also, actually, fuck that. Let's go on the four-hour time frame on IWM. This is just a quick explanation. This was IWM this morning when how we could have caught this whole upside move. Wait, not right here. So I'm looking at the one hour this morning. I'm like, okay, we're bullish. We came down. What did we come into? Bam, bullish confluence. Respected that. Bam, that's all I'm looking at right now. We're bullish, right? Because the four hour, what? The four hours bullish. Look at that. Oh my God. Four hour bullish fair value gap. So then I'm going to the one minute. And I'm looking at this around the 945 mark. Like, okay, chop. Oh, we sweep these highs. Chop. Come up. Oh, downside move. What happens? Oh, sweep this low. Sweep, sweep, sweep. High, low. Boom. Big upside trend. Now, bam, we broke this resistance. Pull back to what? Fair value gap. Pull back to, did we hit the order block? May. Barely, but. Still, I would call that a pullback to the zone that made this big push up. Bro, let's see the EMAs. Oh my goodness, EMAs swapped. Pullback to the EMAs. Bam, 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 bam. Like, dog, this strategy is absolutely insane. I'm logging off here. Join my free Discord if you did watch this full video. If you're not in it, make sure you're joining every day too. Like, if you like, if you slack, if you don't feel like waking up tomorrow, if you don't feel like... Oh, I'm too tired, bro. I don't want to wake up or I don't want to go to the gym or I don't know if I want to trade today, bro. I lost so much money. Look at your mindset and that's where your life's going to fucking pan out. You have that negative ass mindset. You have that loser fucking mindset. You're going to be a fucking loser. Have a winning, strong, heavy, fucking straightforward mindset. Wanting to win, being positive, keeping good energy, always learning, always having a student's mindset, always being aware and observing what's going on. Have that mindset. It'll take you so fucking far because that's all I do. And I love leveling up every day. I love being a better person mentally, spiritually, physically. And just, man, I'm trying to be Hemothy. Trying to be Hemi Neutron. You feel me? I'm trying to be Johnny Him. Yeah, like, stop playing with me, bro. I'm going to be him. I'm going to be rich. I will have my Lambo. I will get everything that I fucking desire in life because I'm going to work my dick off to get there manifest every single day that shit helps me i have sticky notes all around bro i journal every day this is a trade recap and i'm telling you guys this bro because this is how much i care journal bam wham like dog journal your thoughts journal your trades study work hard as fuck and you will be rewarded when like it's that simple man you'll be rewarded everything that you input has an equal and opposite reaction everything that you input into your life is going to give you that same feedback them same results that same energy that you input so figure it out brother i hope everyone has a great day i hope everyone learned something from this video deuces i'll see y'all in the market